Uncle Ivanikov. Good old uncle. Okay, so we've got new officers. We've got new officers. And today we're going to discuss this one. Uncle is a tank garrison defense officer. So before we get into anything, it's important to remember the only other officer that he is comparable to is in fact steel fighter so let's keep this in mind going forwards because i think he might actually be a very good replacement unauthorized extensions tactical skill grants the troop a shield coefficient of up to 1800 very nice for four seconds if this officer isn't a tank or helicopter troop its damage resist is also increased by up to 15% for 8 seconds. Well. Um, I think. <laughs> I think it's safe to say. That this is going to wipe steel. Off. Off the, the face of the map. Like you won't need steel ever again. With this officer. That's a 5. Uh, we get damage resist of up to 15% for 8 seconds. Bear in mind it's a tactical skill. So you're only ever going to be losing out for about 2 seconds. 15% damage resist. 1800 damage coefficient. This could seriously shake up a lot of tank loadouts. Especially those going in for soak. So this is definitely a 5. Underworld protection. Reduces the normal attack damage this officer's, officer's troop receives by up to 30% and reduces the normal attack damage your base takes when this officer is garrisoned by up to 10%. Even if you're not using this character, that's a defensive skill you can train and that's a 10% damage reduction on your base if you assign this to your main. Also, he has a cool power up. The parrot easily makes this a five out of five, but the parrot aside, this is this is a really, really, really good skill. Even if you're not using him, you want to train it. <clears throat> it's a four. The only reason why it's a four is because Golden Eagles one is actually better. His third ability, Bottomless Arsenal, it's a balanced skill. We love balanced skills because you can train them in on aids. It's just a firepower and HP buff. It is a 10% firepower and a 30% HP buff. Very, very good on tanks, obviously. Things like light tanks. It's a 5. It's, it's, a, it's just an amazing, an amazing skill to have on a tank. Absolutely amazing. This guy's probably going to get recommended into a lot of loadouts coming up. Lucky coin special ability his fourth skill when this officer's troop attacks the officer flips a coin every four seconds if the coin lands facing up increases the troop damage by up to 10 percent and the damage resist by up to 10 percent this effect can stack up to two times and ends immediately after the troop and uh, immediately after the troop leaves combat the stats are pretty high but it is RNG based and you do lose it as soon as you leave combat. Which means you then have to stack it again when you enter combat. So for field fighting this is okay. But it's not particularly useful. For base defense it's okay but it's not particularly useful. And for attacking a base it's okay again but it's not particularly useful. I think this is a 3 because I can't see any one reason why this is an amazing skill. It's not a terrible skill. I like this skill, but I wouldn't train it in on other units. And because I wouldn't train it in on any of the other units, it's not going to get up to a four because I don't see any way I can use this skill. Yeah, I think this this is a three. This is a three. It's not. But don't take that as being a disappointing three. This is a in the middle as you can get three for a skill like don't be mad that you've got it wouldn't chase after it his awakened ability new skill smuggler king reduces the skill damage your base takes by up to 40 percent and increases the hp recovery when this officer's troop is garrisoned here by five percent that must be a five so he scores a 4.4 
But what we're going to do straight away before we talk about how we can use him is we're just going to compare him to Steel Fighter. So Steel Fighter gets a 2000 shield coefficient once she's awakened and she gets a 30% reduction from officer skills to your base. He gets 10% more skill damage reduction for your base and the base gets HP recovery. And his his standard shield coefficient is 1800, which is exceptionally high. There's only a handful of officers that go above 1500 and he's now in that top tier. His 4.4 score is worth it. How would I use this guy? If I had a tank heavy army... This guy needs to be in your rotation somewhere. Doesn't necessarily need to be on your main unit. That's key. Because he is really good when you decide to log off and leave your tanks inside your base. So if you've got, say, two MBTs or two helicopters or two light tanks, if you're that weirdo in the game who has two light tanks, you could put him on the spare unit. I wouldn't necessarily recommend him for the main unit. Depending. Because there's there's testing that needs to be done. If you had two MBTs, I'd probably be looking for a way to make him the main MBT officer. If, he, if you have an SH, I'd probably be looking at making uh, him aid to um potentially thorn countess if i was assaulting a base with an sh i'd put him in as the captain and i would put in thorn countess as the aide i would not be surprised if the pair of them are going to be the the highest damage reduction combo you can get i would not be surprised if you're assaulting a base that would not shock me in the slightest he's extremely useful as an officer extremely useful and it's I always say in this game, you have to make choices. You have to make hard choices. You have to choose whether or not you want one thing or another thing. And he's leaving me with a bit of a choice here because I've got Steel Fighter Awakened and I would rather have this guy than Steel Fighter. And I've got Steel Fighter on my light tank for a defensive reason. This guy is better. He's a 4.4.